the director of the Silver Coast Research Station. On behalf of District 7, a warm welcome to you both. Arkin Larson has been informed of your arrival, and you are free to travel to Meoria headquarters as you please. However, Technician Baru has detected a potential space-time fluctuation near the research station, which could possibly affect the whole area. To be on the safe side, I'd recommend remaining here until the fluctuations have resolved. I see. Any idea how long that might be? I'm afraid I can't give a clear answer to that right now. Though Budo is actively collecting and analyzing the data, I'll be sure to let you know the second I have any further information. <sighs> I hate not knowing how long I'll have to wait. Pepper, do you know how many executors were dispatched from District 9? Hmm, apart from the Mook Squad that was stationed here a couple of years ago, there was also Meryl, Zero, Huma, and Samir. Oh, and now you, of course. However, everyone's in this super important meeting in Mororia. I think they're discussing the best response to the Grayspace entities. I'm just here as part of your welcoming committee. Grayspace entities? We heard Archon Elric mention them too. Yep. They're Mororia's biggest problem at the moment. I don't know much about them though, so maybe you're better off asking Director Ava. Director Eva, we've got some questions. What can I do for you? Ask away, and I'll do my best to answer. No one knows for certain when those terrifying creatures first appeared. Before Hycros really started paying attention, the gray space entities inflicted huge losses on us. Those enemies have a special ability to traverse space and are extremely aggressive. We had to abandon several of our strongholds on the surface, thanks to gray space entity attacks. Nine years ago, the Meoria Council decided to relocate all inhabitants of the Vera region to the main settlements of each area to help repel the gray space entity's menace. Our surface relocation plans, however, had to be put on hold. Five years ago, the Department of Science and Technology initiated a research project on the Gray Space Entity Ecology, codenamed Listener. I'd suggest asking the project leader, Dr. Clive, for more details. Dr. Eva, we have a situation. The spatial fluctuations are greatly intensifying. It's a temporal anomaly caused by a powerful abyss. This shouldn't be possible. Buru, report to HQ immediately and request support. I'm trying! The fluctuations are generating too much interference. We can't get a clear connection to headquarters. Keep trying. Security close blast doors. Power force field. Activate security droid. Okay. What happened? The cause of this space-time fluctuation is a rare powerful division. Get ready for Gray Space Entity's assault. But at present? We are unable to contact HQ or request external assistance. If they launch an all-out assault, it would be catastrophic for us. We'll help them them off. Follow me. System warning. Red alert. Red alert. All non-combatants, please go to the nearest safe zone and remain there until further notice. Look over there. only repelled them temporarily. Buru's detected several unstable space-time rifts nearby, so this is far from over. Has communication with Meroria been restored? We still have no means of contacting Meroria headquarters. I can only hope that they noticed the space-time fluctuations over here and proactively sent the support. 
We don't have enough energy to maintain the force field for much longer. Pepper, you stay here and help defend the facility. I'm going to try to bust out of here with Shirley and go get help from headquarters. You sure that's a good idea? We don't have a lot of options. It's the best of a bad bunch. The all-terrain vehicle over there will get you across the desert in a flash. Be careful. information.
you guys all right? I'm Lynn from District 7. What's going on over at the research station? We lost contact here in Mororia. I suppose you could say it's still secure. Director Ava has sealed off all points of ingress, and Pepper is helping with defenses. Lynn, it seems that the Abyssant has escaped into the space-time rift. It was wounded, and shouldn't be able to attack us for the time being. The gray space entities around the research facility, however, still haven't been dealt with. Meryl, we'll leave the research station to your team. I'll take them to see Archon Larson. Yeah. Follow me, Executor. Follow me, Ruby. We're here, Mia. Go on up. We're taking a... plane? Ruby, you seem to like little Mia, right? Of course I like Mia. Can we sit together? Sure. Get on board with her then. The gateway to Miroria is in the sky? In response to the Gray Space Entity's threat, the Miroria Security Force set up a huge defensive force field on the surface. Nothing's getting into the city from the ground. Right now, the only way in is via the Miroria Skyport. Let's get on board. Miss Lynn? Mr. Cowell, do you know where Larson is, by any chance? The Archon is waiting at the Furnace Core site. I'm here to welcome you. Allow me, Lieutenant Cowell, to welcome you all on behalf of Mororia to District 9. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cowell. Are you okay, Mia? Does she always speak like that? Mia's language module has a few errors which makes her speak like that occasionally. We're all used to it, however. S -s sorry for the t -t 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 trouble. Cowell, is Shelly's vacation over? Ms. Shelly? I believe she's still got two days, but there's a record showing she was urgently recalled to headquarters this morning. Something about helping with equipment. Oh, seems we might be in luck. Shelly is Mororia's technical consultant. If you agree, Maybe she could check over Mia, and repair anything she can. I just hope she hasn't left headquarters yet. Let's go. Follow me, please. Here in Vera needs suppressors? The Tower of Fantasy here was severely damaged in the Cataclysm. Unable to provide steady Omnium, we had to give it up. Later on, one of our Archons came up with some tech that dramatically increases the body's resistance to Omnium radiation. Over the years, the levels of Omnium radiation have shown a marked decline in the Vera region. People no longer need to rely on various support devices to survive. That is the Vera Tower of Fantasy. All of Mororia is built around it. Is that... Lynn? Oh, yes. She is quite the idol in many young Viren's eyes. She single-handedly defeated a powerful abyssum not that long ago. Ahead is the District 7 headquarters. Please, this way to Archon Larson. long gone otherwise well then 
I'm very grateful that you stuck around. Well, it was the acclaimed and admired Lin requesting my help. How could I refuse? However, I'm technically still on vacation, so if I have to work, how are you gonna make it up to me? Hmm. How about a VIP meal at Oasis? Well, the food over there is good, I'll grant you, but I still feel like... Ten meals. That should suffice for this month. Ha-ha! Then we have a deal! Alright, so tell me what you need me to do. These are two guests from District 9. They have a smart servant, Mia, with a damaged language module. We were hoping you could take a look. Oh? A District 9 smart servant? Where? Mia, don't you like strawberry cream donuts? What about delicious cake? Or sweet pear pudding? Chocolate rolls? <laughs> Chocolate rolls. Huh? Our little friend looks really happy. Miss Shelley, do you really think you can repair Mia? Oh, yes, the language module. I can certainly take a look, though I've never seen such a model as Mia before. Allow me to conduct an initial examination first. Shelly is an outstanding mechanic. Mia is in totally safe hands. You two can follow me to Archon Larson. Don't worry. Go do what you gotta do. Welcome to you both. I am Larson, Archon of District 7. Archon Elric has already informed us about Zeke. I've sent someone to investigate Miroria's travel logs, but there is no record of Zeke. If he really did come to the Vera region, he's most likely doing his best to stay under the radar. Larson, could Zeke be trapped in the Abyssin field? I've considered that myself. If it's true, I'm afraid. Abyssin field? What is that, Larson? Some powerful Abyssins can generate an abnormal localized space-time around themselves. A field through which they can roam around in real space. If Zeke really is trapped in an Abyssin field, our chances of finding him are slim to none. Follow me. Bio samples in these cultivation tanks were taken from a defeated, powerful abyssant. We call them Christomaxes, and they're crucial to the field ability of an abyssant. Each one has its own unique characteristics, so the field ability of each abyssant will likewise be different. These samples are priceless. By studying them, we can gain a deeper understanding of both abyssant biological traits and field abilities. Perhaps, one day, we too will be able to control space. Once a Christomax is removed from an Abyssin's body, however, they start to lose their bioactivity. These three samples have already lost their value for research, and we need some fresh samples to complete our study. Only the strongest, powerful Abyssins are able to form this special structure. And right now, we have no effective way of locating such Abyssins. If Is there anything we can do to help? Archon Elric has provided us with advanced spatial monitoring technology, which Larson is currently working out how to use to monitor Abyssin activity. I will also put together a special force to round up and take out any detected Abyssin. I would like to invite you two to join us. The sooner we can complete our Abyssin research, the sooner we can find clues about Zeke. Lin, while I have every confidence in your work, our two guests are strangers here. Unfamiliar as they are with Abyssins, be a little cautious in asking them to help with the hunt so quickly. Understood, Archon. You'll be responsible for the Executor and Sherling. 
Please ensure that suitable accommodation is found for them in Miroria. No need to worry. Everything's already arranged. After such a busy day, I'm sure you two must be tired. Let's go see how Mia's doing, and then I'll take you to your accommodation. serious problem. Maybe try something a bit more complex? Mia, try this. Shelly, Shirley, Shelly, Shirley, Shirley, Shelly, Shirley. Shelly, Shirley, sh sh Shirley. Come on, Shelly. That's too difficult. Hmm. Have you found a way to fix Mia's problem, Shelly? Even though I'm not particularly familiar with this model of smart servant, I reckon there can't be much of a difference with our smart droids. So it should be pretty simple. Just leave her to me and I'll take good care of her. Huh? No need to worry. I'll let you know immediately if there's any progress. I promise. Are you used to the environment and climate here yet? I hear that Asperia doesn't have such a vast desert. I'm just a bit surprised how you can sustain a huge city in such an arid desert. Mororia has a comprehensive resource recovery system. Allocations of food, water, and energy are all strictly regulated and are sufficient for the current population's needs. Twenty years ago, our scientists attempted to fashion a better environment for the people here, through extensive geoengineering. They were this close to succeeding, before the appearance of the Abyssant derailed everything. Abyssants caused this inhospitable desert? Abyssants destroyed many ecological stations on the surface, forcing us to stop our terraforming project. Not just that, but many natural ecosystems were also damaged, resulting in an even worse situation than before. The people here have been through a lot. The Mororia Archives preserves many historical records. It's definitely worth a visit, if you're interested. Well, that's lucky, as I'm curious to learn more about this place. Wanna come with me? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 